go over just one more example. And then when I noticed, I think a lot of you guys needed some more time to finish yesterday's uh, Monday's Nearpod. So after this little two slider, I want you guys to go back, finish up Monday's Nearpod. If you already did it at a 100% level, you're good to go for today. You have a little bonus. But I just wanted to make sure we felt good about interpretations and predictions. And please enjoy. My boys are having a nice little uh, morning, so I apologize for the noise. Okay. So right here, Justin mows lawns to earn extra money. He can calculate how much it costs him to mow lawns with the equation below. Y equals 1.5x plus 200. So I'm going to go ahead and jot that down. Y equals 1.5x plus 200. And I'm going to set up to label what in the world Y and X represent. So he can calculate how much it costs him to mow lawns, where Y represents the total cost, and X represents the number of lawns mowed. So Y is his total cost. X is the number of lawns that he mows. So now we're ready to interpret. Now remember, our interpretation sentence stem right here always starts with the whatever the Y variable label is. Oh wow, we're really, we're really going after it, aren't we guys? Yeah, we are. Okay, the Y variable starts, so we always start the sentence guys with the Y variable. So I'm gonna go with the, and the Y variable I labeled as the total cost. So the total cost starts at the Y intercept. Starts at, and the Y intercept guys is always the number that's alone. The number with X is always your slope. So the number at, usually at the end, but the order doesn't matter, guys. We could flip flop these if we wanted. But since the 200 has no variable, we know that is the Y intercept. So his total cost starts at $200. I imagine that starting cost could be maybe the cost of the lawnmower. And will increase slash decrease. Since that 1.5, guys, with X is positive, we're going to choose increase. If that was negative 1.5x, we would say decrease. And we'll increase by the slope. So it will increase by $1.50. And we'll increase by $1.50 for every time the x variable happens. So in this case, the x variable is the number of lawns that he gets to. So it will increase by 150 every time he mows one more lawn. And boom, now we're done with our interpretation sentence to type in. And now let's do the prediction. How much would it cost to mow 10 lawns? We're gonna take that number 10 and we're gonna see which label does it match with our Y or our X, so 10 lawns. 10 lawns is not a total cost. 10 lawns goes with a number of lawns, so it's gonna go with our X variable. So down here, I'm gonna take the equation the way it is, and then I'm going to replace the X with that 10 in parentheses. And now we can continue looking at his costs. 1.5 times 10 is 15, plus 200, if he mowed 10 lawns, he would have spent $215. Now let's go with the next one. Oh wow, they're flying, guys. They're flying. Here it comes, coming in hot, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay, so how many lawns did Justin mow if he had to pay $209? So we're gonna take that number and decide, is it Y or X? $209 sounds like a total cost. $209 is not a number of lawns. Sorry about the dogs, guys. So since 209 is a total cost, I'm gonna plug that in for Y. And now I need to solve for X. We are going to save the close number until the end. We're gonna do the opposite and get rid of the far away number first. So the opposite of adding 200 is subtracting 200. So we'll get nine equals 1.5X. And then we'll divide both sides by that 1.5. And you'll just need to take that to your calculator to get your final answer.